Okay, so we're just looking at this window frame again, and we've made this uh, on a previous episode out of fiberglass. I think this is four millimeter fiberglass, and pretty happy with the way that it turned out. However, we've subsequently thought actually we could use this as a template and make this out of stainless steel, which would just be a little bit stronger. The only problem with this fiberglass is that it has just got the tiniest bit of flex in it, which probably won't matter, but just belt and braces, I think stainless steel might be a good idea. So we've had some stainless steel made, so we've had it folded to the correct angle. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna bolt this corner through here so that we keep this shape, and then we're gonna take it out and we're going to see if our folded stainless steel will actually fit and has the right angle on it. Okay, so we've built our former out of plywood. This has got a 46 degree angle on it, which is perfect for our B pillar. And then we've got our press brake stainless steel in here. It's actually 82 degree. This has been uh, pressed at, so that's perfect again, exactly what we need. And then we've just cut these angles in here, which was, which was it's a compound cut, so quite tricky to do. We spent quite a few hours on this, but we've got it now exactly how we want it. Uh, we've got also the front part of the rail as well that goes all the way up to the A pillar and we've got this shaped piece on the top here however we have made a small mistake and here is that mistake so if we line the two up here these meet up nicely however if you go to this end all nicely cut but this one's about 20 millimeters too short 
so no idea how we've done that so frustrating these things happen um, we are human after all but unfortunately we've not got any more of this material so what we need to do now is get another piece of this ordered at least we've got all the angles and everything that we need so we just now need to get some more of this ordered and get it recut. So we've remade the port side frame after our small error with the length. So I think this worked out to have been about 25, 30 millimeters too short. So uh, luckily F1 laser have uh, press break this again for us and also done us some little top brackets up here as well, all laser cut. So shout out to F1 laser for turning that around in three days. That was really good of them. We've also got a little tab here that needs to be welded on and Richard has also made a little former actually for that as well so we need uh, 95 degrees for these little tabs so he's made this little former we can rest those pieces in there and then our fabricator can spot weld those on so what we'll do now is get this loaded onto the van and we'll go over to the fabricators
So our frame is back from the fabricators, all welded up, and a big shout out to Adam just for helping us out with this at sh such short notice. Really nice weld in there in the corner, and he's also welded on this piece here with a tab as well, which will allow us to fix it to the top moulding. So all we need to do now is drill some holes in this so we can fix it to the boat. And because Richard likes shiny new things, he's just bought himself a brand new pillar drill and the idea of being with this is that we can drill this stainless steel with uh, he's got some special carbide drill bits i think these are so that'll just allow us to to drill some holes in the bottom frame here so we're going to offer this back up in the boat we're going to mark it and we're going to drill those holes <laughs> Okay, so we've drilled our holes along the back rail here and all the way across this base rail. And uh, we've just got a small fixing in here, just temporary. And then we've bolted this back and that's all worked out really nice with this top corner here. Really happy with the way that's worked out. So what we'll do now is we're just going to put this piece in here. So we've just measured that off. So we'll cut that ready and then we'll be able to drill the holes in that piece and then we'll be able to get this base rail fixed down as well. Okay, we're back on the boat today guys. Our port side stainless steel frame is all fixed and ready to go. So that's ready for our bonded windows. And then we've got the other side to do, which again, we just need to do the same. So we need to drill the stainless steel frame and then we can fix that into place. However, we've had a call from the window company to say that our windows are ready. 
So Richard was up nice and early this morning and he's just taken a couple of big pallets and created this nice A-frame and he's put a ledge on the bottom as well and we've loaded that onto the van. We've got some foam here, some dust sheets and we've got some foam sponge as well so we can carry the glass hopefully nice and safely. So what we'll do, we're all loaded up, we'll get on the road and get over to the window manufacturer. So it is the next day and uh, we got back late last night picking up our glass from Caldwell's windows and uh, so far so good looks really nice so we've got I think six pieces in total so this is the front section this is the rear section albeit it's the wrong way around we've got a piece here that goes over the aft cabin in the cockpit and then we've got another piece that goes in the center of the cockpit which is that piece as well and these have all got ceramic bands on so you can see that here so uh, and we've got a ceramic band on these as well so yeah so all we need to do now is we're going to have a quick test fit actually so i think we'll probably what we'll probably do is get the smallest piece up first and see how that fits on our port side of the boat Well that has worked out really well, those windows fit pretty much perfectly. We did have to take the frame out and just adjust this back edge, we had to pull it in about 10 millimeters. so we just had to re-drill 
a couple of holes here and pop some uh, pop the uh, bolts through so we'll just end up having to epoxy fill the old ones in hindsight we probably should have waited actually till we'd got the glass and then all we did was we put the glass in position we put the frame up against it and then we drilled through anyway all now works really well fits really nicely obviously we've got the sliding opening mechanism here so that will let be able to open and close that for ventilation so that'll be really nice and we just walk around the side here and you can see down the side it is a it is a piece of gray glass so it's got a slight tint to it so it looks really really smart really happy with the look of that and the fit as well and um, we will need to adjust it a little bit when we've got it sort of bedded down on the adhesive so here it's just a little bit high at the moment but we can we can sort all that when we actually come to fix it in place but overall considering this is the first time we've ever done anything like this fit and finish is absolutely on point so what we're going to do next is we've got some uh, the rectangular pieces to go in the front of the cockpit here so we're just going to unwrap those and just have a quick test fit Wow, what a difference a little bit of glass makes. They really do look the part, really happy with those. I mean, from the top here, this almost looks black, but from under, underneath, letting loads of light in, nice and clear, looks absolutely stunning, to be honest. And same with this as well. We've just checked the ceramic band and that's absolutely perfect on both pieces. And from underneath here, you can see that ceramic band so it's probably around 20 millimeters just under an inch so that's perfect so what will happen is we'll end up with a 10 millimeters of a sort of pleather pad going up here and then you'll see probably about 10 millimeters just under half an inch of ceramic band which is exactly what we were were aiming for so that's worked out absolutely spot on and then at the front here we've got a larger ceramic band which masks this ventilation so there'll be ventilation demisting pipes going up here and that comes in behind this box section that we'd made this support frame so we've ceramic banded that as well so um, again that's worked out really nice and then in here um, actually goes a cassette blind so we've got this nice piece of ceramic band in here cassette blind will go into there and that'll all be hidden and you won't see it from the top so what we're going to do now is these, we're not quite ready to fit these pieces of glass yet we're just worried that actually if we fit them now they're just going to get damaged so what we'll do is we'll pack them back up and then we're going to store them in the aft cabin for now Okay, that's going to be a wrap for today's video guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one